guys welcome in this video i am going to talk about one of the advanced python schedule module the name is called rocketry what is rocketry the rocketry is a modern scheduling framework for python applications and uh, why we need to use the rocketry even though we have a lot of options for the schedulers in python like cron tab api scheduler airflow the reason is rocketry is very simple to use example like uh, if you want to schedule a jobs in a seconds in a minutes you can simply write a function it will done a job for you anyway i am going to show you a simple code of programming you can get some idea and uh, the installation is very easy you can just use the command call pip install rocketry and uh, core functionalities of the rocketry is task parallelization and task parameterization task pipelining and uh, you can modify the sessions when during the runtime of the scheduling as well that option is available in this in this library and uh, rocketry previous name was red engine now they changed the name even if you are trying to google for rocketry you don't get any links immediately but you can see the links when you type red engine in the google search engine and there are four components of the rocketry one is the and these are nothing but classes rocketry is session scheduler task these are classes we can use these classes and to do our programming and anyway i'm going to show you uh, their website you'll get some idea now i just typed the red engine in python in google now you can see the first website red engine advanced scheduler you just click on this and it will open the site you can see here first thing the red engine itself is open the uh, advanced scheduler if you can see here this documentation is out of date the project continues under the rocketry so i'm going to open this in the new tab and uh, you can see this is actually a library now the previous name was red engine so in future we, we don't use this red engine name and they change it this one to the rocketry just for your information and if you can little scroll down and this documentation is perfectly defined i mean you can easily understand it no need of any uh, further info, further uh, documents you can look for and um, you can see this there are key features like simple clean robust yes it's a very simple uh, scheduling framework which we can use it in python and um, to use this you can see this there is a tutorials like basic tutorial intermediate and advanced tutorial and we have some examples and how it works and we have some diagrams here like um, how this session starts how it, actually the schedule works internally all this information is given in this documentation itself right so it is it's a open source you can use it and you can work on it right so now we are going to see small simple examples to execute in our vs code studio and you'll get some idea tell this rocketry python package in my local vs code to do that i'm going to see the tutorials if you look at here quick start and there is a command called pip install rocketry you just copy this and go to here in the command prompt and you type it so just now it is installed but if you look at here closely this rocketry internally accessing the some of the python packages one is the read board another one is the pydantic so we will see this read board pydantic in the upcoming sessions we'll discuss more on to this but these are the dependencies of this rocketry right now what i'm going to do right i will simply copy this code and will execute for you so to do this when just copy this and go back here in the code and you type and if you look at the code very closely you will understand much more better here like from rocketry import rocketry this is the module name and this is the class and this class we are creating an object called app and this object internally runs the run method this run method internally call this decorator and it will execute the task which are the function you write 
instead of do things you can write your own function also that will execute for you for example i want to execute a task the task is like for example hello and this i want to run it right so what i will do right uh, just let me clear this for you yeah now you can type here so i'm going to execute the command here python space and job run and uh, dot py right okay fine sorry in in my case it is python 3 then it will work right see now see hello is printed but doesn't make sense because this is going to work for daily basis but i want to change it to the hourly basis now, now little scroll down or like you can go to the next tutorial or like next pages basic tutorial you'll get more idea about it I want to execute this task every second then I can see is see it right every 10 seconds is there so what I'm going to do right instead of this daily I'm going to write here every one second right now this you can do it as control C yeah let it be control C I'm just clearing it now I'm going to run this and you see every one second this hello is going to be printed because my job is to print hello in this function tomorrow if you want to print some dates or like you want to execute the sum of two numbers maybe if you want to do something else in your work and you can use this um, rocketry so it's not just every one second you can change it to the every 10 seconds you can just mention here 10 and you can change it to the seconds and it will work for you right so all this all this uh, okay 10 seconds you can see i i given the wrong value here seconds it's saying that's key error so you need to give this is the correct one seconds you just follow the documentation and it will save your job is very easy now this control c and uh, i'm just going to clear it for you then again you just click on the job run and you see every 10 seconds this hello is going to be printed the thing is um, you want to run this job in every one hour if you want to run this job on the every one day like you want to run this job on the two days two hours 20 seconds something like this you can you can do it weekly basis hourly basis monthly basis yearly basis all you can do it if you want to very specific to the weekly on monday or hourly after this you can easily works for you this is having the very amazing feature you can try this and and rocketry is also can be used for the logging you want to see the logs and you want to store those logs every every hourly and you want to store it into one csv file it works for you you can use this uh, this is where like readboard comes into the picture readboard is mainly for the logs which you want to work in your projects which is a very amazing tool guys if you can use it in your projects and uh, there are something like intermediate level you can apply these conditions you can uh, uh, you can see here at a one time go you can take this hourly dailies and after success i mean for example you have any conditions here you can do maybe maybe like for example your job is successfully executed then only you want to go and run this daily jobs yes we can do it so I just giving an idea here this has very potential uh, to utilize in your projects it, it depends on you like what kind of requirement you have in your projects how you can take it forward you just follow this documentation you will get more idea okay so maybe in the future what I will do right I will bring this scheduler into the one of the machine learning projects which I'm going to tell in our in our channel right so definitely I will come up with the great things here but uh, this is just I'm giving an idea how to use or like oh, what is the significance of this module uh, definitely can be useful in your projects it just go and explore it here you'll get a lot of idea the people who are in the data science projects they are using the past api for the ml ops projects and definitely this this is going to help you a lot so i'm actually using in my projects for the machine learning and operations projects like ml ops projects there i'm bringing this schedulers to run my jobs every daily so i hope this this is going to work for you you can try and we'll see the best i'm going to use this one in the upcoming upcoming videos in one of the projects then you will see the potential of this this scheduler okay i hope you like it this content if you have any questions you just write into the comment box and let me know uh, what you think about this module okay 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, bye.